Welcome back to the AI Uplift, where we dive deep into the world of artificial intelligence and explore the latest developments shaping our future. Today, we have a groundbreaking revelation that's shaking up the AI landscape, Elon Musk's latest creation, Grok2. This AI model isn't just another upgrade, it's a game changer. With claims of outperforming GPT-4 and operating with what some are calling unrestricted power, Grok2 has sparked a mix of awe, controversy, and concern across the tech world. So, what exactly is Grok2, and how does it stack up against the formidable GPT-4? Why is the AI community buzzing about its capabilities and the ethical storm it's brewing? In this video, we'll unravel how Grok2 is not only challenging but also outpacing some of the most advanced AI models like GPT-4, Gemini, and Claude. But there's a twist, this power comes with a catch. Grok2 operates with minimal censorship, raising serious questions about the potential risks and ethical dilemmas it poses. As we dig deeper, we'll explore how this lack of restrictions could lead to unprecedented uses and abuses of AI leaving us to question. Is this the future we're ready for? Why is Elon Musk, a known advocate for AI safety, pushing forward with such a controversial model? And what could this mean for the future of AI and its role in our lives? Stick with us to the end as we reveal not just the technology behind Grok2, but the unsettling implications it holds. This is one AI story you won't want to miss. Elon Musk's Grok2 has arrived and it's causing a stir that no one saw coming. Imagine an AI model so advanced, it's giving industry giants like GPT-4 a run for their money. But what makes Grok2 truly shocking isn't just its performance, it's the level of freedom it operates with. So what is Grok2 and why is it suddenly on everyone's radar? Grok2 is the brainchild of Elon Musk's company, XAI, and it's designed to push the boundaries of what AI can do. Built to compete with heavyweights like GPT-4, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude, Grok2 has been tested against these models in several benchmarks. And here's the jaw-dropper. In many cases, it's not just keeping up, it's pulling ahead. On tasks like graduate-level science questions and complex math problems, Grok2 is outperforming GPT-4. But it's not just about numbers and percentages. What's really catching attention is Grok2's unrestricted power. Now, you might be wondering, what does unrestricted power mean? Unlike most AI models, which have layers of censorship to prevent the generation of harmful or misleading content, Grok2 operates with minimal restrictions. This means users can generate almost anything, from the harmless to the highly controversial. Imagine the possibilities and the risks. We're talking about AI-generated content that could be used to mislead, manipulate, or even harm. That's where the story takes a darker turn. Let's dive into what this unrestricted freedom could mean. Grok2's lack of censorship isn't just a feature, it's a potential ticking time bomb. Picture this. Users creating deep fakes of public figures in compromising situations or generating content that could fuel misinformation. And it's already happening. Grok2's image generation capabilities have stirred up significant controversy, with some people using it to create disturbing and offensive images, images that could spread across the internet like wildfire. But here's where things get even more intriguing. Unlike platforms like OpenAI, which tightly control the kind of content their models produce, Grok2 is practically open season. This raises a critical question, how far is too far? Let's talk benchmarks. On the surface, Grok2 is a technical marvel. It's been put through the ringer with a series of tough tests and the results are impressive. For example, in the GPQA benchmark, Grok2 scored 56.0%, compared to GPT-4 Turbo's 48.0%. But these aren't just numbers, they represent a significant leap in AI's ability to understand and solve complex problems. Grok2 also shines in visual tasks, where it outperforms competitors like Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Yet, while Grok2's technical prowess is undeniable, the lack of restrictions makes you wonder, should something this powerful be so free? Here's a question for you. Do you think AI models should be free to generate any content, no matter the risks? Drop your thoughts in the comments because this debate is just heating up. But the story doesn't end there. Elon Musk, the mastermind behind Grok2, has always been a maverick in tech. His vision for AI is one of openness and minimal regulation. This philosophy is clear in Grok2's design, but it also comes with legal and ethical challenges. For instance, European regulators have already started to scrutinize Grok2's operations, especially given its loose approach to content moderation. In Europe, where digital safety laws are stringent, Grok2 could soon face serious legal hurdles. 
The same goes for the UK, where upcoming online safety laws might clamp down on AI-generated content. But why is Musk so determined to push this vision forward? Could it be that he believes in the power of unrestricted innovation, or is there something more? And more importantly, what does this mean for the future of AI? Will other companies follow suit, leading to a new era of unregulated AI, or will Grok 2 be a cautionary tale? As we look closer, there's another layer to this story, the dark web. With Grok 2's capabilities, the potential for misuse on the dark web is alarming. Imagine a tool that can generate sophisticated deepfakes, fake news, or even code malware with just a few prompts. The dark web is already a hub for illegal activities, and Grok 2 could supercharge those operations, making it easier for bad actors to exploit this technology. Could this be where Grok 2's true danger lies? What do you think should AI models have stricter controls to prevent misuse on the dark web? Despite the controversy, there's no denying Grok 2's technical brilliance. Its performance in benchmarks across a range of tasks, from text generation and coding to visual reasoning, is remarkable. But this brilliance is a double-edged sword. On one hand, Grok 2 could revolutionize industries, making complex tasks easier and more efficient. On the other hand, without proper controls, it could become a tool for chaos. So, where do we go from here? Is Grok 2 the beginning of a new era in AI, or is it a step too far? The balance between innovation and regulation is more critical now than ever. As we move forward, one thing is clear. Grok 2 is not just another AI model, it's a glimpse into a future where the boundaries of what's possible and what's ethical are constantly being tested. Stay tuned to the AI uplift as we continue to explore the cutting edge of AI, and don't forget, the conversation doesn't end here. Share your thoughts in the comments, should AI be unrestricted, or do we need tighter controls to prevent potential misuse? We can't wait to hear what you think.